It's the month of love. And the other day, we were having a discussion in here um, after one of our productions on TV. And then the matter of being plus-sized and finding love actually came um, onto the table. We started to discuss. And if you're a Ghanaian woman, um, once you start to put on a little bit of weight, your friends start seeing you eating here and there, eating that, sometimes posting it, or sometimes even your own family members and your mother sometimes can say, hey, or once you start to put on weight, you're not going to find a husband. So then we asked, does it mean that if you are plus sized, you will not find a man? or even if you will find it becomes very difficult because in this day and age, the men that we have want a certain body size with certain curves and all. So um, does it go to say that if you are a little big, let me put it that way, for the sake of this discussion, you won't find love at all. Or if you do find love, it means that a man never foul so, or the men will start to treat you in a bad way just because you're big. This morning, we've got three beautiful plus-sized women to help us with this discussion here in studio. Now, um, see, um, there's, a, there's a clothing line called Big Girls Clothing. We've got the CEO here this morning, Ajua Mensa. She's here in the studio, and it would interest you to know that she came with two of her models who are also plus size this morning, Benedicta Wade and Julia Ebenacho. Did I get it correct, honey? Ebenacho. because she's a Nigerian. Omo, you're welcome. <laughs> Nigerian or the Thank you. Thank you're you. welcome, you're welcome. Thank you. All right, so that's, Bened welcome, that's Julia. That's Julia Benedicta, yeah. and of course, Ajua. Are you good to have? Why are you girls so beautiful, though? Mm. Oh, no, no, you. but honestly, why are you so beautiful? Wow. I guess it comes with the size. <laughs> Give me. The size, the yeah. confidence, you know. What did you say, girl? The confident, you know, the love, the self-love, the self-appreciation, you know, everything. Mm -hmm. Everything. But, but it would interest you to know not too many plus size women are very confident like you. So mm -hmm. is this something that you were taught? You picked it up somewhere, something bad happened. That's how come you're able to gather this much confidence about yourself. You know, I feel like that's my body. I'm going to be with this till I die. So mm -hmm. I have to love myself. Okay. Yes. When you said this is your body and you're going to be like this till you die, were you born big? Uh, yes, I was born big. Oh, you were I'm born? I'm a premature child, so yes. Oh, okay. And you've never felt any pressure at all to reduce in size? Well, you know, I went to a boarding school and people were sometimes annoying, you mm. know, the body shaming and things like that. Mm. It don't really bother me, but when I was younger, mm. it did. Mm. But now, I feel like, you know, this is my life. You don't have to tell me what to do or how to, you know, live my life or which shape I should be in, um, you know, the size and things. It's my life. Let right. me decide for myself. Right. Okay. Right. I learn to appreciate myself and then love myself. And that is what I'm going to live with. So when you were much younger, um, um, Julia, okay. what were some of the comments you would normally hear in school? What, what did they used to say? Oh, they'll be like, ah, you're too big. You can't fit in my group. You can't be my friend, you know. Because then in um, secondary school, we all have like, you know, people that want to be in this clique, that clique, you know, yeah. things like that. So uh, I was really, really a very quiet person. Mm. So making friends then was really, you know, a big deal. And when you try talking to someone, they'll be like, nah, I don't want to be your friend because you don't don't fit in, you know. Maybe when your uniforms are, you know, wet, they'll yeah. be like, oh, you can't wear mine, you're going to expand it for me, you're going to do this for me. No. You know, it's just, it was too much, but self-love. So at what point in life did you arrive at this self-love phenomenon for yourself? When I got to my first university, yes. Which, which year was that? Like you were 20-something? 2019. Okay, just this yes. 2019? Yes. Oh, wow. So that's when you were able to gather this self-love, yes. self-confidence and all. Yes. Okay, I see. We'll come back and ask how it's going. <laughs> but, Andicta, did you go through anything like that when you were growing up? Yeah, I did. You've um, always been this size? No, not like that. Like, okay. I, was a, I was a bit smaller when I was a child, mm -hmm. but as I grew up, like, I started to gain weight. Okay. Yeah, so that's how come I'm did like Did it worry now. you while you were a child? Um, not really, but, you know, like... I just got to accept it because, mm. you know, it's not part of me and I have to love myself the way I am. 
and you know be confident in it that's what is important have you tried to lose weight at any point at all <laughs> to be honest yeah i have mm, mm. but um sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't really work okay yes but i think i just generated the love in me like i just had the love in me because as julia said like mm. I, I saw that what if i'm dying with this body okay so am i going to always you know be hidden indoors and mm, you know mm. uh, not come out not have fun like those things um so i was like nah i mm. think i have to live life like how i'm supposed to and that was just like the pickup for me so you've just decided to embrace you yes, the everything. body size and everything yeah, it comes to yeah. even though you've tried in the past to yes, lose to lose yes, the weight but which makes you happier this weight or when you were much i think this is better this makes you I'm, happier i'm so happy <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy like this, honestly. Um, I don't know. I think you just have to love yourself, as I said. Mm. I think looking back at the days, I think I wasn't loving myself. Mm. So it wasn't like coming out of me. Right. But since I started like I'm embracing the whole plus size thing, then I was like, nah, I can do wonders with this. So I just embraced nah, it. Did yeah. you hear that? Yeah. I can yeah. do yeah. wonders <laughs> with this. Check it out. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> now, so you had the mama, <laughs> or let me say the grandmama, right? <laughs> anyway, you. have you always been this size? No, not at all. So, so what happened? I I think before my first child, mm. I was like size 10. Can oh, you imagine? Yeah. So let me, let me show you something. What people don't know is your frame determines a lot. Okay. So when you look at Julia and, and Benedicta. Uh, Benedicta, you can tell that they have thicker mm. frames. You see the bone? You mean both sides? If you look at my wrist, mm -hmm. I'm almost the size of a uh, gentleman Roland. Here. You, you, my name look is Roland. At Roland. Yeah. So, Yes. So, so it means man. yes. Look Thank at my wrist. So, so look at man. yeah. Yes. Okay. And then look at the thickness of hair. Ah. So this is not flesh. Ah. It's, so it's it's the bone. Yes. So the bone structure. The the bone structure is what determines. So you can see somebody trying to lose weight and she's not going down because your bone, your frame is already big mm. or thick. Mm. So there isn't much you can do, mm -hmm. you know. That's how your maker made you. Does it mean that, let's say, from your formative years, mm -hmm. um, apart, let's say, past age 12, mm -hmm. you're going into teenagehood, mm -hmm. then you have to know who you are? You have to. Okay. Is it related to the genetics or is it related to how you feel you're forming? Okay. And so then you have to start building your confidence from that level. Um, this is very relative. Somebody would want to keep it clean. Okay. Somebody can be thick bone, but they don't want the protrusion. Okay. 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 So we can't really say okay. so. So what I want everybody to do is to know yourself, mm. what you believe in, what makes you feel beautiful mm. inside out. Mm -hmm. Once you have that key, nobody can take it. Nobody shaming nothing. My ladies are confident because we do a lot of personal grooming right, for them right. and we make them understand whom you are, what you have to go into the world with. That becomes your identity. I see. And once you know your identity, that's it. That is it. So, Benedicta, Julia and Ajwa, let's talk love. Has it been hard trying to find love with this body size? For me personally, no. Hey, yeah. boy, snip up. Uh. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but oh, hand there, yeah, man. Man, Okay. For me personally, no, I mm. haven't really had um, problems with dating. Mm. But one thing I've realized is sometimes you do go into the relationship, and along the line, they, you know, they want to um, let you reduce a little mm. to uh, fit. That's the yeah. turn off for you. Mm. Yes. You know. Yeah. I know too much of it is, you know, bad, but I thought you just have to maintain the weight. And if you love yourself and you love the way you are, like, he should also just accept you the way you are. So, yeah. so what you've suffered is what they see initially propels them to come. Yeah. But after they start to date you, then they start to complain about it. That can Some you... of them, not all. Okay. Most of them actually like it. They, they, sometimes they even want you to add more. Wow. But sometimes I, I have a fear because I feel like maybe they are just trying to you know, fetish you or something. Right. Mm. Yeah. Right. Well, so what do you I mean just, by fetish? Like, you know, some people just like big women. It's also. their fantasy. Yeah, so they, they kind of like sexualize it, you know, too much. Mm. And I feel like maybe it's not me you're looking at. You're just, right. just because of the body. Okay. So you're coming in, yeah. Yeah, but, 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 but if, if, if someone, and then that, that's to you, Julia. If somebody 
loves you for who you are. Okay. And then the person then begins to say that within the course of the relationship, I want you to reduce. Mm. How do you tend to react to that? Have you experienced and how do you tend, or do your friends who have experienced that? Um, personally, yes. Mm. Uh, I think if you wanted me to reduce, to, uh, I'm a size 18. Okay. And if you want me to reduce, mm. because you like thick women, mm. um, I think you want me to reduce to a size 14 or size 12, right? You could have actually gone for women like that. <laughs> It's very simple. So don't come here. Don't come here and then try to, you know, instigate or tell me what to do with my life. It's okay. my life. Ah. It's so my you're body. saying that if I want to reduce my body size, I will do that? Yes, you will. But it's I will do choice. it for you. But I will do it for you. Yes. Okay. okay. Wow. Mm. <laughs> That's so strong, though. <laughs> uh, so, so w when you were 10, like getting to 12, etc., that transition to who you are today, mm. how did that, did that influence your love life in terms of the reactions you got from whoever you, you, you were, were with as your yeah. partner? Okay, yeah. so mine came as a result of child childbirth. Birth. So I, I had a preterm baby. And I think right after the first trimester, my water bag broke. Mm. So I had to be on a lot of transfusions just so that they would be able to um, get enough um, mm -hmm. period to, for the baby to grow to the size they wanted mm -hmm. before they took mm -hmm. it up. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's, I think, is as a result of the transfusion. Right, right. So after the baby, I saw myself becoming big by the day. Um, you stand in front of the mirror and you know that this is, I don't know myself mm -hmm. anymore. Um, Influence on your love life? Um, you know, the funny thing is, the marriage after the baby didn't last. Okay. I don't think I will owe it to my size. Mm -hmm. There were a few problems here, here and, and there. there, so I knew we are going to get there. Yes, and that's why I want people to understand that sometimes it's not about the body size. The body size right. We have women who are very slim, super slim, and they are going through divorces. Yeah. So if you want to tie it down to the weight, that's why I, I beg to you differ. You have a problem. Okay. I see. Yes. So, right. so uh, I'm sorry, Roland. Yeah, you want to come in? Can I, no, 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 come in. Yeah, yeah. And this to all of you. So let me start with you okay. first. Do, do you have men who love plus size women? And what, what it is that they want? What is it that they say they want? And why do they want plus size women? Personally, <laughs> I have never met a man who actually loves plus size women. Hmm. I just meet people who be like, oh, I like your personality. Hmm. And then I feel like when you like my personality, you don't really have to look at the body or the face or anything. You love the person for being half, for, be, for who she is, you know. You're loving me for what I can, you know, do for you or what I can, you know, add. You know, actually, I think relationship is what you give me and what I give you. Yeah. Like it's 50-50 in a way, it's 50-50. People say it's 70-30, but trust me, it's 50-50. You give me, I give you. That's the thing. So I give you, I give you. I give you, yeah. Uh, <laughs> my money is my money. Your money is it's our money. Our money. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So... Yeah. Um, the way you say you give me, I give you. That's what you, <laughs> you, know, you know, it's I don't mean money. I don't mean. I money. understand. Yeah, you understand. Mm. But as for the money, mine my is money mine. is my money. Yeah. Our, your money is our money. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, what about you? <laughs> yeah, have you have you have you encountered men? In Who just come to you find, because they love, love your size body? They, they just love it, and yeah. and they just won't go away. Yeah, <laughs> I think um, a lot of them actually. Uh -huh. I think they. I don't know. I think at first they didn't really like the whole plus size thing. It's now that I don't know. It's catching on. Yeah, some way, somehow. people are really, really loving it. Someone can just walk up to you and just be like, "Oh, I really love your body. Can we be friends?" Mm. At first it didn't happen, but now it happens. Right. You get it. So I think yeah, most men are now. 
you know, engrossed with. I, I, draw, I, I, I want to come to you. Mm. Your ladies or the ladies that you work with seem to have a lot of self confidence. Mm. But there, I'm sure there are so many women out there who are also plus size, but they don't have the confidence to even step out of their own flesh to even think that they can find love. Mm. What is it that you can do? You are into clothing. Mm. Are there certain clothing types that you can wear to boost your confidence and to make you know that you are beautiful? So because of that, you deserve some love? Okay. First of all, I would say to look and feel beautiful and know you are beautiful are three different things. Okay. You can look beautiful, mm. but you don't believe you are beautiful. So or I could feel be beautiful. Yes. Mm. I could be sitting here looking all, but my self confidence is so low. Okay. So, what I want people to do is to build inner beauty. Okay. Don't just be told or seek the approval for, from anybody. Mm. Know and know it yourself. You should um, engage in lifestyle packages okay. that enhances your your person. Like what? Yes. So let's say, for example, um, I don't really like my tummy area. Okay. You know, after the, I've, I've had three kids, yeah. so after the babies, yeah. I feel like, oh, I wish I could go back to those mm -hmm. days. What do you have to do? Cut on, cut off certain uh, carbohydrates right. and other things. Right. Hit the gym, mm -hmm. and then not trying to go in there and lose weight per okay, se, but keep fit, keep fit, and it builds that alone Built changes confidence. a whole lot of wow. things. So, and then you can work on your skin, mm. do something different, and mm. then that with that because you are putting in the effort then you begin to know that, oh, I did A, B, and C. That's the, the efforts got me to this level. Okay. Yes. So um, I, I think building inner beauty is yeah, one. Important. And once you do that, then we look at what is happening on the outside. outside. What do I, once I've, I've, I've done something to my skin and I feel it's looking bright, mm -hmm. then I'm looking for what are the colors that complement the skin of mine? What's the hairstyle that goes mm -hmm. with it? What do I have to do around my feet? Yeah. That's a, so for me, inner beauty, then out, 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 right. outward. Uh, Julia, so just one quickly, one minute, one minute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our director has decided to give her three minutes. So, the, you, know, the, you know, these days, Social media has made, for example, you see pictures, TikTok, booties, you know, like, <laughs> has that also satiated men's um, appetites for plus size women, do you think? Yes. Yes. Then, um, 2019, 2018, I think plus size was not really a thing. Yeah. It was not really a thing. Mm -hmm. Then when we started loving ourselves, Okay. putting ourselves out there, mm. realizing that this is my body, I will mm. live with it. Mm. Then they, they were like, oh, this is a, mm. this this is is a spec beautiful. for now. This mm. is beautiful. Yeah. Mm. Let's go there. Mm. Social media. Uh, Has it impacted what? anything? Yeah, I think so. Just like what she said. At first, they used to, I used to see a lot of thin models, you know, yeah. come um, on TV, um, on social. Uh, I don't know whether during those times they actually had media, mm. but it was what we mostly saw on the magazine and everything. But now it seems like, you know, now we are seeing, you know, plus size um, actress. You know, plus size people are now in the system. Even yeah, in the, the space. music. Yeah. yeah. In the music yes. industry. They are yeah. giving us a chance. So, is, 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 you know, when I see someone watch, if, I'm, if I see someone watching TV and I see the person plus, I'm like, oh, this person is like me. Like, I, I actually, you know, right. have a thing right. for them. Yeah. Right. I see. I, I wish we had enough time to discuss this extensively, but unfortunately, we don't have enough time. But you ladies are coming from Big Girls Clothing. Yes. Where are you located? A drink and a drink. Oh, yeah. Right, oopsie, that's Samoa John's filling station. Yeah. Oh. And we have big boys as well. Oh, big boys. Mm -hmm. So if you're a big boy and you want big boy clothing, yeah. you can also come yeah. there. Okay, you have a, an Instagram uh, Instagram handle. Y yes. What so is it, it's please? Big girls um, clothing. Okay. Big girls online. Okay. And okay. um, that's on IG, Facebook, and I think. Um, um, come again. TikTok. Are you on TikTok? Yes, we are you on, on TikTok. TikTok. So yes. big, big girls. Big, big girls. Clothing. Clothing. Big, big girls, girls okay. online. Sorry. Right. Big, big girls, girls online. online. Yes.